Hello and welcome, my name is Parkin, today I'm playing some more SimCity 5, the cities of the future, or tomorrow, whatever it is. This this time, we are going to be carrying on, I've just noticed actually there's quite a few uh, abandoned buildings over here. Now this might be due, let's have a look what the problem is over here, i quickly swivel this around, too much crime! Too much crime! Okay, wow, okay, I, this must be a growing problem suddenly, the crime in the city. Which means that it actually gives us something to do, which is wonderful. So let's have a little look at our police station here. Uh, criminals, hang on, arrest 12 per day, uh, okay. Maybe it'd just be worth, oh, I don't know actually, I mean, it's pretty much maxed out. We're probably, the only thing that we could do is to place down the bigger, uh, the bigger what am I trying to say here? <laughs> God, you can tell I've only just woken up, can't you? The bigger police precinct place, that's it. I suppose the only problem with that is that if we're working towards those drones that go and arrest people anyway, it's probably not that useful. God, I thought that building there was abandoned, but apparently not, it's just very grey. Okay, so last time... Uh God, the camera, uh, we placed down the trade port, which is now actually working. Now, things that we probably want to do here include in expanding the truck garages, just because this is going to obviously help us a massive amount in terms of creating a mega and therefore profit. So it's a bit of an investment. These cost 50 each per hour, but it's fine, because we are hopefully going to make this and more back. Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, I have to say, I'm not totally convinced, but you know what, that'll probably do for now. Okay, we probably want to put one of these on as well, if we can afford it. We're going to have to get rid of that road behind there, though, in order to do so, which is absolutely fine, because there's, to be honest, nothing on this road here which is of any use. We can probably get away just to destroying those two. What is this, actually? Hang on, what have we really got? Crude oil, raw ore. Crude oil, raw ore. That's all we need, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so actually no, I don't need to expand it, so I'll just delete that for no reason. We put down these um, things here, I don't know what these are called, the helicopter pad, futuristic helicopter pad 5000. And they should, uh, they don't, I don't think they travel via road, so I think it's fine. And for some reason, this looks like it isn't connected here on the maglev, but it actually is. It's just a bit of a visual bug in the game, which is fine, we can live without that. The last time we started off our research on the waste reduction level, which is basically about to finish, which is pretty damn cool. We also placed down a few expansions on here, including the transportation, put the uh, cruise place down and other stuff. So that's wonderful. So that's going to be done very soon indeed. I think, yeah, this isn't ready to be upgraded yet, which is fine. And aside from that, really, we're just looking for other things to improve in the city. Oh yeah, the last episode was me basically spending ages and ages upgrading all the roads, which is fine. Is this bit of track missing here that I've missed? Is it? Oh my god, it is. Why does this keep happening? It's because I'm stupid, that's why, but, you know, we're going to ignore that as a reason. Come on, why can I not connect this up? For God's sake. Tell you what, this bloody maglev is the one thing in this game which makes me rage. <laughs> it's pretty silly. I mean, like, whenever you try and destroy something, you click on the maglev without realising. It doesn't make a big explosion noise or anything, so obviously, oh, I don't know. It's, it's just a bit rubbish. Okay, right, so we've got all this. I'm thinking we probably want to go for this. Just because it'd be quick. We could go for the Skybridge, though. I mean, that's something I want to do. So, yeah, let's go for the Skybridge. Why not? Why not, indeed? And this should, because it's a level 2 one, it's going to take a little bit longer, but it's probably... To be honest, it's not going to take that long. It shouldn't do, anyway. Right, and we've got all these nice, fancy uh, skyscrapers around here now, which is wonderful. And that's probably because we upgraded the roads. And we've got a bit of a higher population density. Okay, so crime. Uh, we're going to ignore the crime situation for now because I really can't be bothered. <laughs> Which is probably not the best, uh, best way of going around things, but... Right, now this place. This is growing to be a bit of a concern of mine, the sewage. There's not much we can do until... Well, there's not much we can do, really, at all, is the answer. Aside from place down another one of these. I don't know, I'm just, I'm not feeling very kindly towards that idea, so let's just upgrade this for now. When the sewage becomes a, an absolute, you know, 100% problem that I definitely need to sort out, then I'm probably just going to have to place one of those things down, but that's fine. Okay, so what are we going to put down now? Let's put down the, what is this? A balcony. Sure, have a balcony. 
Apparently improving my lifestyle in my mayor's mansion is making everyone even happier, which is wonderful. They love that I have a nice balcony on my house. <laughs> what can I say? They love it. Right, okay. So, aside from that, we also want to start expanding this mega tower, which is actually doing pretty damn well, I have to say. This one here is not doing as well, but to be honest, we haven't got many low-wealth people in the city anyway, so I'm not too worried. They don't bring in too much. I have to say, though, this one isn't... Is this... No, this mega tower isn't bringing us any income anymore. I think this is probably the only one over here, which is... Yeah, God, look at that. Profit today... Profit yesterday was 74,000, so that's pretty good. We probably want to continue expanding those and probably make another elite one as soon as we can. It's going to take a bit of hoarding of money, though. And look, we've actually surpassed the 100,000 mark, so that's good. So I think this is, as I was saying before, the highest amount of population I've ever managed to get to on the vanilla game. Obviously, it makes it a bit easier on this, because, uh, well, <laughs> you have the mega towers. Right, okay, so generic playthrough everything. Oh, what's this? Oh, we've got one of those, okay. Nissan Leaf? I mean, there's nothing more futuristic than a Nissan Leaf, is there? I am concerned about this. I'm not going to lie. Oh yeah, and something I noticed in uh, editing. I need to sell the control net on this as well, because we're wasting it. Right, so that should get us a little bit more profit as well, hopefully. And then aside from that, we don't really need to worry about anything else in the meantime. I think the hospital's fine. Waiting room capacity. Oh, we could probably do with another... Oh no, we can't actually expand this anymore. Okay, well that's fine. What's the next task on this? Holy shit, 292,000... Villagers. <laughs> villagers. <laughs> Couldn't really call them villagers now, could you? Uh, right. Righty right. So, this... Is this going quickly? 18%. Okay. Let's have a little look at the specialisation. Now I want to have a little look into the Omega Co stuff. We should start... Yeah, we're making now over 12,000, which is what we were sort of stuck on last time, which is fine. We can actually also put down another Omega Co. factory, which you could argue they make a lot of money. How much profit are we getting from this one? I'm just basically trying to make as much money as I can at the moment, obviously. Profits, Omega Co. franchise, profits 12,000 per hour. It's not bad. And that's just from the franchises, though, isn't it? But obviously, the more Megaco you pump out, the more franchises you have, so maybe it would be worth putting another one of these down. I don't know. Would it Would it be worth it? Because are these guys going to... We're going to lose franchises if we put them there. Although those aren't actually franchises right here. Hmm. Are there any poor people's houses we can just, like, <laughs> bump down? Should I tell, tell you what? We could... Because you can put these in any area, can't you? So we could put this here. Because if you look, this little area here, this is not going to expand any anymore. So let's just let's risk it. We'll put another Omega Co place down there. Hopefully this is going to make us some more profits. Global market. Oh, this would be good. So what do you have to do with this place? Oh, what's it say? Helicopter. Uh, I don't know. Okay. I don't know where we're supposed to put this. Maybe we have to... Oh! Oh, we just put it on top of the building. Oh, I see. Right, okay. Well, that's quite useful then. Uh, so that just basically makes trading easier, I assume. So can we put one of those on this? I mean, I don't know whether I'm making a bit of a mistake here, but... That doesn't seem like a bad thing to put on there, does it? Not at all. It seems like a good thing, especially if it's going to increase our hourly profits by increasing the amount of uh, movement of our goods. I don't know. Let's let's put them on, take the risk, and we'll see, shall we? Because my idea is that basically this will mean that things will be imported into the factories and exported from the factories a lot quicker. And therefore, that will mean that there will be more franchises using the Omega, which means they'll be making more profit. At least that's that's the logic here. <laughs> Whether that's actually true logic, I don't know. This looks like the bloody Large Hadron Collider. What the hell does this do? Connect your extraction pods to this pipeline. Get all those hard-to-reach spots. Oh! Oh, is this just to, like, put around the city so, like, everything just gets converted to Omega Co. franchises? That's pretty cool, actually. I think if that's what it does, that is pretty cool. I like that a lot. Okay, so let's put the second one of these on here. We do indeed not have enough simoleons. Why is that? 
I thought we did. Okay, so this factory is pumping around, pumping out now. Hopefully, uh, what I'd like to see actually is a few franchises of um, residential areas, which I think you can get. So far, we've only got the sort of factory area, but I'd quite like to see what the buildings look like if they're franchised um, as uh, as residential. See, what is this being used on? The money is just like disappearing. Is this what is going on here? Oh, is it because it's importing stuff? That's probably what it is. Ah, oh, it's because I'm importing loads of oil and rubbish. Well, not rubbish, but, you know. Ah, right, okay, well that'll make a lot more sense then, if that's what's causing that. Okay, let's quickly do it before they use all my money again. <laughs> I mean, I suppose that's... The one bad thing with that is it's going to take me a while to save up, but, you know, it's, it's going to be worth it overall. It's an investment, that's the idea. It's an investment indeed. Okay, is this a... Okay. Actually, no, hang on. What's the zoning of this area? I said that this is residential, but is it? No, it's all bloody commercial. Oh, well, we can have commercial franchises as well. I think that'd be pretty cool to see. What's the, what are they saying over here? Oh, don't expect me to go to work at the academy. I don't work. I shop. Well, how do you shop without work? That doesn't make any sense. Is this a mid-cost co? Okay, we have a lot of wasted space here. I'm sort of tempted to put something else down. Maybe extend these roads a little bit. Is there a road here? No, there isn't. Okay, maybe that's something I could look into. Okay, it looks like we have plenty of... Yeah, look, 11,000. We've got plenty of control nets. That's not a problem now. This one's, this, this is a business, a mid-cost business. Which, it's a massive fish and chip shop. <laughs> that's what it is. They sell fish and chips. Okay. Cool, so this is all sorted. Still getting a few problems with crime over here, which is, you know, it's bearable. But to be honest, I don't really care at the same time. So the sky bridge is at 48%. Actually, how much is the sky bridge? Because it's no good having all of the... Oh, God. Why is this all red? Closed need water? Really? Maybe I should put a tower closer to them. I just have a feeling that maybe it's just because there isn't a tower that's near enough to them. So that it's taking a while for the water to get round to this side of the city and therefore these guys aren't getting enough water. I don't think it's the excess, I think it's the location of my water towers. I don't know, I've got quite a lot of water towers around, I could probably get rid of some of these. Like this one. Actually, that's probably a better place than this one is. So let's get rid of this hydro pumping station. I think that's the first one we ever placed, actually. Oh god, another factory blew up. I wondered what that massive explosion was. It's fine, though. <laughs> it's fine, you know. We just need to extend our... Uh, are these are just closing down for... Abandoned? Too much sewage? Oh dear, this is where the city starts going wrong, isn't it? All of our nice towers are closing down. This isn't right. Okay, so there we go. Are there any more over here? It doesn't look like it. I can't see any more. If there are, I'm an idiot and I missed them. Sewage is a bit dodgy. I probably want to find a place for this again. And speaking of which, this would probably be a brilliant place here because I've got loads of room, but I, unfortunately I can't really make the most of it. Uh, what we could do is possibly put it... Somewhere over here, because these roads are quite small. It doesn't matter so much if we destroy them. It doesn't look... If you have a little look here, as if this space here is being used very well. So what I might do is I might destroy this... ...road here... ...in order to make room for another sewage plant. Obviously this is going to get a bit expensive uh, fairly quickly. But again, I mean, what do we do? We need it, so... Okay, I mean, it's not the most optimal place, but we're just going to have to go for it there, I think. And we don't even have enough simoleons anyway. Oh, dear. See, this is the dodge part of the, the building of the city time now, where everything starts going wrong, and you have to micromanage all of these different issues, and it gets really annoying and complicated. But it's fine. We're bloody importing so much rubbish, Omega, 
or oil and everything else that we can't actually afford anything because it keeps draining our profits. Uh, maybe some suggestions are needed in the comment section of what I'm doing wrong. There's probably a lot that I'm doing wrong, but I don't know. I think it just gets the the yeah the certain time in every city where you start facing these sort of issues. To be honest, you could argue that we don't need this windmill anymore, this wind plant, because I don't know. Actually, we're using a lot more power than I thought, because that was almost on 300, wasn't it, an episode ago? Oh dear. Okay. Well, I suppose we could always expand along the coastline here instead if things become a bit dodgy. I just don't know why this is... Why is this doing this? Like, it's getting even more dire. And it's really expensive to run this thing. I mean, I don't know what other options we have. I mean, I suppose we could put down one of these, but then, I mean, that's just like a... It's the same as this, really, isn't it? 26 sewage flow rate, sewage treatment rate 52.5. Oh! That's actually rubbish. Okay. Okay, so I've just figured out something here. So apparently, this futuristic sewage sanitizer, the perk is obviously that you get sewage treated but you also produce water from it now we're not too worried about water but it gives us le you know more less than half the sewage treatment rate than the standard vanilla game one does as you can see there it's 52.5 kilograms per hour and this one's 26.3 which means that if we put this one down and had it purely filtering sewage instead of worrying about producing water as well like the futuristic one does we should actually have double the uh, capacity. Which probably explains why our sewage treatment plant is really shit. So I might actually take the risk, depending on what you guys think in the comment section below, tell me if I'm if I'm right here. What I might do is just get rid of this completely, replace it with the vanilla one, because it will have better sewage treatment rate, and then sort out the water problem separately. And to be honest, I don't think we need to worry about the water problem anyway, because we can keep putting down the water towers, and I think there's other ways that we can get it anyway. So, tell me what you think. I think that sounds like a good idea. Um, I've just seen that the bloody mayor's house is upgraded. I'm just having to awkwardly change my mouse battery, though, because it just ran out mid-video, which has never happened before. Oh dear. Upgrade. There we go. Let's just make everyone happy in the meantime, shall we? And put down our final expansion on this bit, which is going to be the guardhouse, which we're going to put at the front here, because that makes the most sense. Wonderful. It's getting fully decked out. Sorry about that, my uh, house phone went, which is a bit awkward. Okay, well this is going to be the end of the episode, so if you enjoyed the episode and want to leave your suggestions and feedback in the comment section below, that will be greatly appreciated. And leave ratings, because that helps the series and the channel out greatly. Thank you for watching! Goodbye! Awkward! Awkward goodbye! Awkward!